Hi, boils and ghouls. Get comfy, sit by the fireplace, because we got a lot of horror movies to talk about. These are mostly going to be spoiler-free until a certain point, but I'll say when I'll start talking spoilers. Because some of these I don't have much to say. Others I do, and then you know how it is. We always start blabbing about movies a lot longer than we think we're going to here. So <laughs> let's talk imaginary from this year. This wasn't good. Like, at all. Now, I didn't know this. It's the same director who did Truth or Dare from Blumhouse in 2018, which I just brought up in a video that I can have fun watching that stupid, terrible movie. But it is a terrible movie. Now this makes a lot of sense. <laughs> that the same guy directed that. I forget his name, Jeff something. I should probably take note of that, right? Just in case I never want to see something by him again. Now, this is a Blumhouse production, which I feel just saying that nowadays is instantly going to make people say this movie blows. So for those who haven't seen Imaginary yet, brief synopsis. This woman, Jessica, moves back to her childhood home with her husband and her two stepdaughters. And Alice, the youngest stepdaughter, starts talking to her new imaginary friend, which is, I mean, technically it's half imaginary because there is, it's a bear stuffed animal she carries around with her. So it's half imaginary, that's all I'll settle for. And of course, Chauncey ends up being a lot more real than they give him credit for. If I smirk there, you'll see in the bloopers. Now the lead here, DeWanda Wise, who plays Jessica, I think she does a fine job through most of it. The younger daughter, she's alright through some of this, but the voice for Chauncey, like when she's talking as Chauncey, sounds so bad. That sounds awful. It sounds like a terrible impersonation of Danny Torrance from The Shining. The biggest problem with this movie is where it goes, is the writing, like usual with Blumhouse releases as of late like Night Swim. Even though the acting wasn't great, I was still getting pretty invested with the characters here. Until, like, the halfway, a little past halfway point in this movie. But in order to talk about that, then we gotta jump into spoilers. So let's jump into spoilers for Imaginary and get this shit out of the way. But the writing, yeah, in this movie is atrocious. <laughs> the further we get into the movie, the worse it gets. The first half hour or so, they were doing good with establishing this world, and establishing this family, and the whole, like, not bitter, but, you know, stepdaughter, I guess, <laughs> it's very stereotypical, stepdaughter relationship of the older daughter and Jessica, how she, you know, she's a teenager, and leave me alone, you're not my real mom, and their mom is in a mental hospital because she's not doing well. I mean, very generic stuff, but it was working for me. So Jessica is an author for children's books, and she draws pictures, and she has her spider. I forgot what his fucking name is. This was days ago. And I can't even say there's any good scares or anything in this movie. There's not. So if anything, this was working for me on just like a, like a melodrama level of just like a little dive into this family and a little tale of guilt and grief and trying to get past that with an imaginary friend. That would have worked much better for me than what we get. Because once that old bitch, and <laughs> where did they get her? Where did they get this woman, and why is she in a movie on my TV screen? She is awful. You see that old woman for one quick scene to introduce her, like, halfway through the movie, and I was like, Oh, like, there's no way you picked this actress. And then, when we get into the craziness of this movie... Alright, the best way I can describe where this movie goes... Into the whole... The spirits tether themselves to children, and that's what imaginary friends are, and that every culture has them. And then they open the door to the imaginary land. All of that is stupid as shit. I'm sorry, whoever made the decision, writing this script, that that's the direction this film should go in, should be simultaneously shot dead and fired from Hollywood. It feels like they had the first 40 minutes of the script, and then they said, fuck it, let's do an insidious and throw them into the further. And then they just thought of a new further to fit this movie, and that's the second half of this movie. 
that's really how it feels. And the place is called the Never Ever? Come on. And then we get a twist. It's not even really a twist because it's so telegraphed that Jessica was the target the whole time to get her back to this house so Chauncey, her old imaginary friend, can have her forever. And that Alice, the young girl, was just bait. And Chauncey was using her to get Jessica back to the house and get her. I will say, though, like always, there are some positives. I gave a few. Chauncey's theme song? Fucking great. <laughs> I'll say that. What a waste of a creepy, cool composition with his little musical theme by being used in this movie. Every time it came on, though, after the first time or two, trust me, I was singing along to it. But between the writing, the acting from pretty much everyone except for uh, DeWanda Wise, and like I said, the daughter a little bit, I can't recommend this movie to anybody, really. I mean, using one of those positives, I guess I could recommend this movie to anyone who likes or has a soft spot for little jingles that are catchy and like a commercial or two won't suffice you, go check out Imaginary from this year. Otherwise, for a movie that's called Imaginary, this movie is devoid of any goddamn imagination. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, or night. I will see you soon with another one. Take care, everybody. So it's half Imaginary. <laughs> Chauncey starts being a lot more real than anyone's given him <laughs> And of course... Yeah, there's going to be bloopers for this one. So Jessica is a children's book writer. You see that old woman for one quick scene to introduce her, like, halfway through the movie. And even then, I was like, hmm. <laughs> is that what you were like? Is that how I was? And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> and I was like, oh. I don't know. If you like little jingles. <laughs> so I can't recommend this movie, is my point. I don't know. The writing's so bad through all of this. Imaginary from 2024. 20, what year we had? <laughs> Hope everyone's having a great...